Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric, and already we have some shenanigans in the co-host seat from Miss Mags and Mr. Brody there. Going at it a little bit there. Mr. Brody just had a snack. So, hopefully we'll have a co-host soon. <coughs> so, while we're waiting, let's introduce the Red Sox starting pitcher, Mike Torres, against Jim Beattie of the Yankees. The Red Sox lost the last game. Um, Fortunately, unfortunately, Andy Hassler um, gave them a good seven outings, uh, seven innings. Um, gave a much better outing than he had in real life. Um, and it was a re kind of a remarkable game there. Both Tidrow and Hassler were way under their pitch count uh, numbers, which should have been. I, I just, it just looked, they looked really off. I think it was Hassler had six, uh, 39 pitches through six innings and Tidrow was something like 40 something through, through like eight innings. It was ridiculously low, both pitchers. Um, and it wasn't like a low scoring game either. It was like a six, three game. So I don't understand why the pitch counts could be so low. So now yeah, maybe there was an error in the program. Who knows? I guess it can happen even with Stratomatic. Um, perhaps not though. Maybe it, maybe it was legit. Um, but we'll try out this game and see if uh, see if we get any more bizarre results or see if we get results that actually make sense. Anyway, so Torres on the mound against Jim Beatty. Let's get this game underway and do the national anthem. And hopefully, Mr. Brody and Miss Mags will get back into the co-host seat by then. Play ball. Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. Let's play ball. <clears throat> so Jim Beatty on the mound for the Yankees in 1978. He was six and nine with three 373 ERA so far in the replay. He's six and four, so faring better uh, with 3.45 earned run average, 73 innings pitched, 61 hits allowed, 38 walks, and 47 strikeouts, and has surrendered four homers. So the defense around BD is going to be Johnstone getting a start in left. Rivers in center and Jackson in right. Lou Pinello got the start in yesterday's game in, in left. Uh, Johnstone, about the same ratings as Pinello there. Uh, average range. I think maybe a slightly better error rating. Not much. I think, I think, uh, Pinello might be like an E5 or an E6. So pretty close. Uh, Johnstone with a slightly less powerful arm. Um, with a plus one there. Uh, Rivers plus one and Jackson with the best arm with a plus two. Jackson with the <coughs> least range with a four out there in right. In the infield, same as yesterday. Nettles, Dent, Randolph, and Chambliss. And behind the plate, Thurman Munson uh, today. Um, Munson was the DH yesterday. But he's back there with a above average range and a decent error rating and a above average arm. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, Jim Beatty uh, with a above average range and a high error rating and does not hold runners on at all. So maybe we'll be running, even though Munson's got a good arm that. Plus four and minus three make it a plus three in addition to the base runners. So 
I believe that's how it's read. I guess Mr. Brody's come back now. Ready to do game number two of the tonight. In honor of Stratomatic opening day 2018. So, for the... Batting order for the Boston Red Sox is Rick Burleson, the shortstop, bats first. Second baseman, Jerry Remy, bats second. Left fielder, Jim Rice, bats third. Batting cleanup is the first baseman, the captain, Kali Stremski. Batting fifth is Pudge Fisk. Batting sixth, the center fielder, Freddie Lynn. Jack Brohammer, the DH again today. And again, we may take him out fairly early uh, and possibly bring the boomer, George Scott, in. We'll see on that on that one. Um, Dwight Evans, the right fielder, bats eighth. And batting ninth is the third baseman, Butch Hobson. So I believe the same lineup as yesterday's game. So Burleson comes in. He had a good day yesterday. A couple of hits, including a triple. 284 average with a homer and 35 runs batted in. So Beatty looks in for the sign from Munson. Here's the windup in the pitch. And he'll line out to his counterpart for out number one. So Jerry Remy up now. Hitless in yesterday's game. Average down to 301 with two homers and 34 runs batted in. And it's going to be off the four, four column of BD. It's going to be a ground ball to Nettles. And it's going to be a range check on Nettles. Very sure he ended there. Gets in front of it. And makes the play over to Chambliss for out number one, uh, two. So two up and two down in the Red Sox first. Oh, I'm sorry. That was weird, even though Nettles was able to... That was strange. So they did the range check for Nettles, but I guess it ended up getting past them. Hmm, interesting. So Remy is ranked 11th in the league in batting average. Oh, the infield must have been drawn in, but still with the range check, I'm surprised that didn't work. But anyway, Remy on with a one-out single, and I think we're going to have Remy try to steal here. See if he can get a jump. So 118 safe chance. Yeah, that's because of that BD is plus four there. So we'll see if we can get a jump here. No, it's hard to get a lead. So now only a 1 to 12 chance. Not bad normally, but we're not going to chance it this early in the game. But later on, we definitely will if, if, if uh situation comes up. So we won't tempt it. So Jim Rice up now. He hit, he hit a two-run home run in the first inning of yesterday's game. His 31st of the season. And it's going to be off the four column of BD. And that's going to be a ground ball back to the pitcher. BD does commit a lot of errors here. Gets in front of it. And he is going to commit the error here. Rolls up his arm. So to put runners on first and second with one down for the captain, Kali Shremski. Shremski comes in hitting 284 with 11 homers and 51 runs batted in. And if Shremski is going to get a good one on the hit here, see if he can put the Red Sox on top. And that's going to be a single to right. Let's see here. Oh. 1 to 14 chance. We're going to hold him. Rice Jackson's got a good arm out there. So that's going to load the bases with one down. For Pudge Fisk, Carlton comes in hitting 304 with 13 homers and 56 runs batted in. See if we can put the Red Sox on top. Six call. And that's going to be a line out to Dent. Ugh. So Freddie Lynn now, up to Freddie Lynn. The Red Sox are going to score here. Comes in hitting 291 with 21 homers and 67 runs batted in. And it's going to be off the four call. Ah, and he's going to fly out to right to end the inning. So the Red Sox leave the bases loaded. Unable to score. Hmm. 
So after one half, is the Red Sox nothing? The Yankees coming up. Torres on the hill. He's got a record of 12 and 3, having a great season so far. 3.14 ERA, 158 innings pitch, 152 hits allowed. Definitely a much better innings pitch to hits ratio than he did on the actual season. 53 walks and 79 strikeouts and has surrendered 13 homers. So the lineup for the New York Yankees is Mickey Rivers, the center field, the bats first. Batting next is Willie Randolph, the second baseman. Thurman Munson behind the plate, bats third. Batting cleanup today, Reddy Jackson, the right fielder. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Chris Chambliss. Greg Nettles, the third baseman, bats sixth. The DH today, Roy White, bats seventh. Jay Johnson, in left field, bats eighth. And Bucky Bleepin' Dent, the shortstop, bats ninth. So Rivers comes in hitting 248 with six homers and 25 runs bat in. The defense behind Torres is going to be Rice in left, Lynn in center, Evans in right. Hobson, Burleson, Remy, and Yastrzemski, pretty standard defense for the Red Sox. And Fisk behind the plate. Torres on the mound with an average range. Does commit a few errors and has a is horrible at holding runners on, so definitely want to try to keep them off the bases. Hobson and Yastrzemski playing in. And he's going to hit one in the gap between Evans and Lynn. Goes all the way to the wall and Rivers will be on second with a leadoff double. So the Yankees with a runner in scoring position right off the bat. That'll bring up Willie Randolph hitting 240 on the season, struggling a bit with 20 run, just 20 runs batted in. Chance for an RBI here. It's going to be off the five column. That's going to be a ground ball to Remy. This will get the runner over. Over to Yastrzemski for out number one as Rivers moves to third. So a fly ball will most likely score a run with Rivers' speed. Munson comes up now, hitting 260 on the season with three homers and 45 runs batted in. Here's the windup and the pitch by Torres. And that's going to be a fly ball at the center. This should be deep enough. Lynn makes the catch. Way back. And Rivers will score easily. So a sacrifice fly for Munson puts the Yankees on top, one nothing. Reggie Jackson up now, hitting 272 in the season with 22 homers and 53 runs batted in. And he strikes him out, swing and a miss. So minimal damage, as the, Yan but the Yankees do get a run. And after one full, it's 1-0 New York. Prohammer will lead it off for the Red Sox here in the second. Comes in hitting 259 with 16 runs batted in. And that's going to be a ground ball to Chambliss. Takes it on hot, flips it to Beattie for out number one. So that brings up Dwight Evans. Evans a 265 hitter with 16 homers and 61 runs batted in. And Evans will strike out swing for out number two. So to bring up Butch Hobson, the third baseman, number nine hitter. Hobson hitting 280 on the season with nine homers and 40 runs batted in. And he'll ground out to Dent for out number three. So the Red Sox go in order in the second. After one and a half, it's New York one and Boston nothing. Chambliss will lead it off for the Yankees. Comes in hitting 291 with 16 homers and 66 runs batted in. Two column, and that's going to be a fly ball to right. Long fly, Evans with a long run, and he hauls it in for out number one. So Milwaukee leads Baltimore 1 0. Chicago edging Detroit 2 1. Oakland and California scoreless. Seattle edging Minnesota 1 0. And here it's New York 1 0. So one down now. Base is empty for Greg Nettles. Comes in hitting 280 with 13 homers and 57 runs batted in. Oh, and he's going to find the skinny single there. He did a split of one and got it. So one, one on and one out for Roy White. The DH today hitting 264 with 8 homers and 34 runs batted in. And he's going to get a base hit to right. 
Hauser puts up the stop sign and Nettles holds at second. So that'll put runners on first and second with one down for Johnstone. Johnstone hitting 244 with three runs batted in. Let's see if Nettles can get a lead. Can't get a good lead. And that's going to be a ground ball to Remy. They shouldn't get the runners over. Flips over to Yastrzemski. So the fielder's choice. Nettles and White move up a base. So Dent with a couple runners in scoring position comes up now. Dent hitting just 225 with three homers and 12 runs batted in. And he's going to hit a fly ball into the gap. Rice has got a long run way back there, and he makes a great running catch. So Jim Rice definitely saved a couple of runs there with that catch. That one looked like it had extra bases written all over it. But after two full, it's the Yankees one and the Red Sox nothing. Top of the order for the Red Sox will come up in the second. Rick Burleson, he lined out his first time up. He's going to get a good pitch date here, though. And he's going to pop it up. Dent calls for it and makes the catch. So one down in the Red Sox third. That's going to bring up Jerry Remy. He singled off of Beattie back in the first. And this time he'll ground out to short for out number two. Jim Rice up now. He reached on an error by Beatty. It's going to be a ground ball to Dent. One and two will be a hit. And it's a three. Not quite a hit there. And Dent up with it over to first. And Red Sox go in order in the third. So after two and a half, it's one nothing New York. Top of the order for the Yankees will lead it off Rivers, who doubled off Torres his first time up. Came around the score on a sack fly by, I think it was Jackson. No, Munson. And this time he gets him. Strike three called. So Torres' second K of the day is out number one of the third. Willie Randolph up now. He grounded out his first time up. And he'll ground out again to Hobson. Up with it. Cross the diamond. Over to Yastrzemski for out number two. That'll bring up Thurman Munson, who to sacrifice fly his first time up. And this time he's going to fly out to Rice and left. And that Rice drifts over and makes the catch. So the Yankees also go in order in the third. And after three full, it's still one nothing Yankees. Shremsky up now. He singled his first time up. And he's going to hit a ground ball to Nettles. Range check on Nettles. Gets in front of it. Oh, and he's going to boot it, though. Smash to third. It fields it clean. Throws the ball away. So the ball goes into the dugout, up the line. Well, into the dugout. And Yastrzemski will be awarded second base. So that's going to be the second New York error for the day. First one by Beatty. Yastrzemski is in scoring position with nobody out. Tying run. Representing the tying run. Fisk lined out his first time up with the bases loaded. See what he can do here. Oh, it looks like he's going to get a good pitch date here. Anything but a nine. And it's going to be a double. Double into the gap. Between Johnson and Rivers. Stremski will try it home. And Fisk will end up at second with an RBI double. So that will tie the game at one. See if Lynn can put the Red Sox ahead. He flew out his first time up. And Lynn's going to hammer one, almost the same spot, a uh, little bit more towards center field. Gets over River's head all the way to the wall. And dives at it and miss, just misses it. So Lynn will have himself an RBI double. And the Red Sox take a 2-1 to one lead. So Jack Brohammer 
Also with an RBI opportunity here. Grounded out his first time up. And this time he'll line up to Randolph for out number one. So Milwaukee still leads Baltimore two to by a score of two to one now. Chicago ahead of Detroit four to one. California slipping by Oakland two nothing. Minnesota leads Seattle two to one. So let's see if Evans can add to the Red Sox lead here. He struck out against Beatty his first time up. And he'll strike out again. So Butch Hobson up now. Hobson grounded out his first time up. And he's going to be intentionally walked. To get to Burleson. So Burleson comes up with runners on first and second. See if he can make him pay. And proved to be good strategy as Burleson strikes out swinging. So two runs, two hits, and one error, and two men left on base. And after three and a half, the Red Sox lead two to one. So Torres with his first lead of the day. He'll face Jackson, Chambliss, and Nettles. Jackson struck out against Torres his first time up. And he'll strike out swinging again. So three Ks on the day, twice two against Jackson. Chris Chambliss flew out his first time up. And he's going to draw a walk because that one misses low. First walk of the day given up by Torres. Nettles up now. He singled his first time up. And Chambliss unable to get the good lead. But it's going to be a base hit by Nettles. Chambliss will hold at second. So runners on first and second. So the tying run in scoring position for Roy White with one down. White singled his first time up. And Torres draws the... White draws the walk off Torres. That'll break the bases loaded. One down. Red Sox are going to play the defense back. Willing to concede the run. Hoping to turn two. Johnson grounded out her first time up. Hoping he grounds out again. And... He'll line out to Evans and right. And, oh, Chambliss holds at third. So I guess it wasn't quite deep enough. So it'll be up to Dent if the Yankees are going to tie the game here or get a go ahead. Dent flew out against Torres his first time up. Oh, not where we want to be. But got the good result as he c pops out to his counterpart, Burleson. That's short. And that'll do it. So the Yankees threaten. Leave the bases loaded, but do not score. So, score means 2-1 to one after 4. Remy will lead it off. He's 1-2, for two, had a single back in the first. And he's going to ground out the Chambliss for out number 1. That'll bring up Jim Rice. Officially 0-2, for two, did reach on an error by Beattie in the first. Oh, and just misses the skinny single there as he flies out to Johnson. So two quick outs in the Red Sox fifth. We bring up Yastrzemski. He reached on an error and and singled. And this time he'll fly out to Rivers. Has it lined up. Makes the catch. So halfway through, it's the Red Sox with a 2-1 to lead. Top of the order, Rivers will lead it off against Torres. He's one for two with a double. And he'll fly out to right. Evans makes the grab for out number one. Well, he ran up off now. He's grounded up twice. And this time he'll line out to Hobson for out number two. The Yankees just half game behind the Red Sox. Red Sox need that need a win today to make, to stay ahead of the Yankees in the standings. So Munson up now. He's 0 for 1. A sacrifice fly back in the first. 
And this is going to be a ground ball back to Torres. Oh, and that's going to be a single. So it gets by Torres off of his glove and rolls away. So Munson on with an infield hit. So two outs. Gonna bring up Jackson. Jackson's struck out twice against Torres. And this time he's gonna fly out to Lynn. Glides under it and makes the catch. So nothing doing for the Yankees in the fifth, and it remains two to one Boston after five. So Fisk up now had an RBI double back in the fourth. And he'll draw a walk. So a good start for the Red Sox in the sixth there. Brings up Fred Lynn. He's one for two with an RBI double. And he's going to fly out to Jackson and right for out number one. So Brohammer up now. 0 for 2 officially. Oh, he'll get a good one to hit here off Beatty off of his sixth column. Ah. And it's going to go up. And Randolph makes the catch over by the stands for out number two. Evans up. No, Evans is going to get a good one to hit here. Let's see what he does with it. Ah, he'll ground out to Nettles. So he can't do anything with a great pitch there. So after five and a half, it remains 2-1 Boston. Chambliss up now, 0-1, walked his last time up. And he's going to line out to Remy. First out of the sixth. That'll bring up Nettles. He's got a pair of singles off Torres. And this will be a range check against the Lynn. Gets in front of it. And makes the catch for out number two. So that'll bring up Roy White. Roy White's one for one with a walk. Off the five column. And that'll be a strikeout. Torres's fourth K of the game ends the Yankees sixth. Two to one Boston as we head to the seventh. Hobson up now. He's 0 for 1. He was intentionally walked in the fourth to get to Burleson, which proved to be a good strategy as Burleson struck out with the bases loaded. No, actually, we're running the runs at first and second, I think it was. And he's going to pop up to Dent to lead off the Red Sox 7th. So Rick Burleson up now. Burleson looking for his first hit of the day. Probably won't get it here. Although it is a range check on Chambliss, so 1 and 2 could be a hit. Chambliss gets in front of it. And makes the play for out number two. So that'll bring up Jerry Remy. Remy one for three, singled back in the first. And he'll ground out to Chambliss. Races the first and beats Remy for the out. So Red Sass go in order in the seventh. So let's look at the trivia question. One of the first umpires, Bill McLean, an ex-prize fighter known as the King of the Umpires, what unusual thing did he do before some games? I have no idea. Punch somebody out before each one of the games? <laughs> I have no idea on that one. So, 
Mr. Brody and Miss Mays have a tough question here. Let's see what the answer is to this one. Living in Providence, Rhode Island, he customarily walked from his home to Boston, rising at 4 a.m. Wow. So he lived in Providence, Rhode Island, and walked from his home to Boston, getting up at 4 a.m. <laughs> Never seen that trivia question before. That's an interesting one there. Mr. Brody and Miss Mags get some interesting questions there. I don't know where they get their info from. Well, Mr. Brody is a walker too, so maybe that's why. Mr. Brody knows all the stats about walking. The question is, how many times did he pee on the fire hydrant? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so we head to the bottom of the seventh. With the Red Sox up by a run, Torres will face Johnson, Dent, and Rivers. Torres up to 96. See, these pitch counts are what you expect, 96 pitches. And again, this is a 2-1 to -one game, and very similar stats and very similar amount of hits. If anything, less today than it was uh, yesterday. And the pitch counts are normal where they should be. So I think there might have been a little fluke there in the pitch counts yesterday. But who knows? All right, so let's see what he can do against Johnstone today. So far, he's 0 for 2, Johnstone is, against Torres. Hopefully, he'll be 0 for 3. And he will not, well, he'll be 0 for 2 still, but he'll draw a walk. So the corners are going to play in as the tying run is on first. Looking for Dent to bunt here. Hobson and Stremski playing in on the grass. And he's going to hit away. And he's going to hit one to Burleson. Flips over to Remy for one. Back to first. Double play. So that's huge as Dent grounds into the 6-4-3 double play. I really thought he'd be bunting there, but... So Milwaukee ahead of Baltimore now 3-1. to one. Detroit on top of Chicago 7-5. And California shutting out Oakland 2 to nothing. Minnesota and Seattle are tied at 2. So top of the order now. Rivers up, one for three with a double. And looks like he's going to have his second double of the day as he hits it back to the wall. Might be stretched into a triple. No, he decides to hold up at second. So a run at, tying run in scoring position now with two outs for Willie Randolph. He's grounded out three times against Torres. Hopefully he'll ground out again. Oh, and it looks like they're going to bring in Sweet Lou Pinella to pinch hit. His first at bat of the day comes in hitting 339 on the season with a homer and 41 runs batted in. So here we go. Oh, it's off the sixth column. And that is going to be a fly ball to left. Rice glides under and flags it down. So nothing doing for the Yankees in the seventh. Through through seven full, the Red Sox cling to that two one run lead, two to one. Jim Be Beatty back on the mound for the eighth. He's up to 101 pitches through seven. So we'll see how long he lasts here. Jim Rice, 0 for three, and make that 0 for four as he strikes out. A called strike. So four Ks on the day now for Beatty. They bring up Yastrzemski. He's one for three with a single. Make that one for four as he grounds out to Stanley. He's now playing second. Stanley with the average range. Kind of error prone there, so watch out for any range checks to Stanley, to Fred Chicken Stanley. So to bring up Carlton Fisk with two outs and the base is empty. It's one for two with an RBI double back in the fourth. Also walked. And this time he'll pop up to Dent. Calls for it. And makes the catch. So nothing doing for the Red Sox in the eighth. So we head to the bottom of the eighth. With the score two to one Boston. So Boston is 13 and 13 in one run games. And the Yankees are 21 and 13 in one run games. All right, so 
And I'll bring up Munson, Jackson, and Chambliss up against Torres here in the eighth. Action in the Red Sox pen. This is likely to be his last inning. Munson's one for three with a sacrifice fly in the first. And it'll be a ground ball to Remy. He's up with it over to Yastrzemski for out number one. Reggie Jackson up now. He's 0 for 3 today with a couple of strikeouts. And he'll ground one out to Remy. Throw pulls Yastrzemski off the bag, but Yastrzemski is able to swipe Jackson with his glove. So good play by Yastrzemski there to save an error on Remy. So two outs in the red in Yankee eighth. Brings up Chris Chambliss. 0 for 2 with a walk. And he's going to get under one. Flies out to Evans. And that'll do it. So through eight full, it's the Red Sox two and the Yankees one. Red Sox hoping to get some insurance here. Beatty back on the mound here for the ninth. Linton's one for three today with an RBI double. And then he's going to ground it out to Dent. Dent, I believe, has an error today. Was that Nettles? Yeah, Nettles had the error, I think. And this time he will make the play. The first out of the ninth. So a great pitchers duel today between Beatty and Torres. Rohammer up now. Rohammer 0 for 3 on the day. And we are going to pinch hit, I think, from Rohammer here. We are going to have the Boomer. I think we're going to have the Boomer today. Yeah, the Boomer, George Scott, will come in and pinch hit. So the Boomer comes in hitting 234 in the season with 8 homers and 30 runs batted in. 0 for 1 in pinch hit duties yesterday. See if you can get on with a walk here. It'll be a fly ball to center. Rivers is a 2 range, so 1 through 3 will be a hit. Come on, 1 through 3. Uh, nope. Gets in front of it. And holds, makes the catch for out number one. So Scott is retired. So two outs now in the Red Sox ninth. So that'll bring up Dwight Evans. He's 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts. And he's going to line out to Dent. And the Red Sox go in order in the ninth. So... It looks like they're going to let Torres try to finish it up here. So let's look at the final scores. So Milwaukee beats Baltimore 3 to 1. So the Red Sox will have to win to. So they don't fall any further behind. Detroit defeats Chicago 10 5. And California shuts out Oakland 6 0. Seattle edges out Minnesota 4 to 3. So Torres will face Nettles, White, and Johnson. Johnstone. Nettles with a couple of hits today. Two for three. Flew out his last time up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and Nettles goes deep. And that'll tie the game at two. Oh, man. Alright. Roy White up now. There is action in the Red Sox pen. Not that we want to see any of that, but there is. So White up now. He's one for two with a walk. And he'll draw another walk. So the winning run on first now with nobody out. Brings up Johnstone. 0 for two with a walk. And that'll be a base hit to left. So that is going to be it as Zimmer's coming out to take him out. <laughs> oh, goodness. These are the Red Sox I remember from 1978. I should say these are the games I remember. Hmm. I guess we got to bring Drago in. 
Dick Drago comes in. He had a bad outing yesterday. Let's see if he can redeem himself today. Corners are playing in. Definitely expecting Dent to bunt. And Gary Thomason's going to come in. So Thomason got a hit off of him yesterday. Let's see what he can do today. And he's going to bunt. Fielded by Fisk. Oh, my goodness. Fisk throws it away. Just when I said yesterday, that's probably the only error we're going to see by Fisk. He makes another one today. So that's going to load the bases in. Uh, hold the bases up. So the infield in, outfield in against Mickey Rivers. Goodness. All right, might as well get it over with here. Oh, this could be good. Pops it up to short. All right, out number one. Chicken Stanley up now. Outfield and infield still playing in. Red Sox need a strikeout here. Oh, not what we wanted. Come on, 9 or 10. And that's going to do it. Wow. So once again, the Red Sox bullpen implodes. <sighs> Along with an error by Fisk. And the Yankees pull it out in the bottom of the ninth. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. The only silver lining is that the Yankees actually did win this game. No, actually, I'm sorry. They didn't win this game. So the Red Sox will fall another game behind. So against the Yankees here, they've lost two more games. So now I believe they're five games off their pace. So <laughs> maybe the Red Sox August collapse is starting. Started, I think, around the 12th or 13th. So starting a little bit early. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can still redeem ourselves. So another heartening loss. Disheartening as the Red Sox fall. Mr. Brody has left the building. Cannot take this. Ugh. Uh, I guess you can't you can't say that Stratomatic is not realistic because this is definitely the kind of stuff that happened in real life <laughs> with the Red Sox, which I'm all too well remembering now. So we definitely got to get in and change the 1977 Red Sox, Mr. Brody and I. So. We don't have to go through this 78 season again. So Torres gets the loss. Beating the win. Beating Bruce is 7-4. Pitches a complete game. Nine hits. Four, two runs. Only one of them earned. BD was excellent. Two walks and four strikeouts. Torres gets the loss. Eight innings pitch. Eight hits allowed. Three runs. Two of them earned. Four walks and four strikeouts. You're probably saying, yeah, I probably should have taken him out in the Torres in the ninth, but I don't think it mattered. I think I think I think the Red Sox bullpen would probably implode <laughs> even without Torres getting it started. Because I think he left with runners on first and second with nobody out, so anyway. So Drago. He doesn't get a blown save on that. I would think, yeah, he should get a blown save, I think, because Drago came in with runners on first and second and nobody out. And it was two to one still. Yeah, so he should have got a blown save on that one, Drago. One walk. And the error by Fisk did not help either. Actually, that, that error by Fisk was huge because that would have put runners on second and third with one down. If he would have made the play there. And then we probably would have intentionally walked the next guy. But I mean, who knows what could have happened. But. Actually, you know what? No, no, it wasn't. That wasn't a blown save because Nettles hit the home run. That's right. To lead it off to tie the game. Off Torres. And that was a luck shot for, for uh, Nettles though. He only had a 1-3 split on that to get a home run, and he rolled a 1. <laughs> so, that was kind of a little bit of bad luck there, too. All right, for the Yankees, Mickey Rivers, 2 for 5 with a run scored. Randolph was 0 for 3. Pinello, 0 for 1 as a pinch hitter. Fred Stanley, 0 for... Oh, yeah, it was his bunt, I think, that... 
Is it his bunt? Oh, he got the RBI walk. That's right. The base is loaded there. Thurman Munson, one for three of the run score, our RBI. Jackson is 0 for 4. They held Jackson in check. Chambliss 0 for 3, also held in check. Nettles 3 for 4 with a home run. His 14th of the season to tie the game. Roy White 1 for 2 with a run scored. Johnstone 1 for 3. Dent 0 for 3. And Thompson is a pinch hitter, I believe. Drew the walk, I think it was. Oh, no. Is he the one that reached on the air? No, that would have been 0 for 1 then. I can't remember. Anyway, let's, let's look at this. Let's see if we can find the play-by-play -play here. So let's look at that ninth again. Disastrous ninth. So Nettles let off with a home run. Then Roy White drew a walk. Then Johnston got a single to put runners on first and second. And then Drago came in to relieve Torres. Thomason came in the pinch hit. And he's the one that reached on air. By Fisk to load the bases. And then Rivers popped out for out number one. So the Red Sox still could have got out of it. They could have they could have got out of it with a double. And Fred Stanley could have easily grounded into a home the first double play or at least or struck out or, or may at least made another out so that walk did not help by um, Drago obviously so that's it as the Red Sox fall to the New York Yankees let's end this and get out of this disaster not sure exactly where Mr. Brody went well I do know where he went he went in the back room but I just couldn't see his, his little picture here but now I do. So, thankfully that series is over with the Yankees. And let's look at our standings now. Oops. Actually, let's look at this first. The Red Sox are going to start a series with Milwaukee now over the weekend. August, Friday, August 4th. The Yankees won, so that is not going to help. And let's look at the standings before we sign off here. So the Red Sox now four games behind the Yankees and have dropped to third place. The Yankees a game ahead of them. So they'll take on the Milwaukee Brewers. So if we can we can sweep the Brewers, which is kind of wishful thinking, but if we could sweep the Brewers, we can get within a game. Depending upon what the Yankees do. Well, we could still get within a game. Unless the Yankees also win three in a row, then they would be in first place. Well, regardless, we're not going to be in first place, but we could get could as close as a game out. Or as bad as seven games out. <laughs> if we get swept. So, very important series coming up with the Brewers, with the Brew Crew. So, uh, most likely I'm going to try to play that this weekend, at least one of the games, but I kind of want to maybe play all the games just to see where we're at after that, because that's going to be a, probably our biggest series of this season up to this date, obviously. Oh, they're all important now, but Detroit's creeping up, though. Detroit's won seven, but they're still, still way behind. All right, so thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, my co-host, Mr. Brody and Miss Mags, and we'll see you when the Red Sox take on the Milwaukee Brewers, I believe, in Milwaukee. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.